Welcome back all. So we're back here at our ice block shrine. And uh, since we just got that warm doublet, go ahead and put that bad boy on so we're not eating a bunch of meals here. And now you don't have to worry about time. That uh, shirt or jacket will protect you from the cold, at least in this area where it's low level cold protection required. Okay, so I promised lots of treasure, lots of Korok seeds. Uh, first one is out in the middle of this little pond here. Now be careful. Uh, this water is ice water and it will kill you very rapidly. So, a uh, little safety tip there. It's best to take your time in this little spot and make sure that that doesn't happen. Alright. So from here we have another crack seed in this little block of ice. Now you could light bundles of wood here, but I just like to use a burner bow and fire arrows. It should take four in all. No pun intended when I call it a burner bow. I just mean a bow I don't really care about. And they're going to give you tons and tons of fire arrows in this game, so to be honest, yeah, gotta use them for something. I just use them for, the, uh, for lighting fires and for melting ice blocks. Okay, so directly below from that, you're going to see a new type of Korok seed that we have not come across yet. Uh, this is going to be playing basketball with a twist. You have to set up an ice block, and then throw the rock, use the ice block, to get the ball in the hole, basically, like Happy Gilmore. Alright, so there's that one. Uh, I'm looking for fish. Sometimes they're hard to see in this lake because of all the glare. But uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, fish jumping up out of the water or just below the water surface. Uh, case in point, got a couple over this way. Now what I'm really looking for is uh, Staminoka bass, which are stamina replenishment. Unfortunately, it looks like all I'm getting right now are the regular Hyro bass. Uh, a lot of times they'll be closer to the waterfall, so I'm going to go take a quick peek and uh, see what we got going on. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this because we are kind of in a race against the clock. Um, ooh, it looks like I do have some stamina bass over there. Awesome sauce. Uh, I want to get to that rainforest and get all those good cooking ingredients I mentioned before. Uh, the extra hearts and the um, attack power. Uh, reason being is we want to get there before the first blood moon. Uh, I mentioned in an earlier video that blood moon is going to be giving us extra uh, bonuses on all of our meals that we cook during blood moons. So in order to do that we have to kind of beat the clock, get to the rainforest, have time to collect all those ingredients, and then God willing, uh, have all that stuff collected in time for our blood moon. So for now, I'm just going to kind of finish up the Great Plateau. Uh, to do that, I'm going to be doing a lot of warping it back and forth. Uh, just to kind of speed up, you know, having to hoof it from point to point. And I'll show you guys on the map as best as I can what we're doing every step of the way here. But, uh... If it's nighttime in your games, this is when you're going to want to be up here doing this part. Uh, what I'm looking for right now is an ice bat flying around. Should be up here where this area is right there. Uh, reason being is these ice bats only come out at night. And uh, you're going to need a lot of these ice bat wings for suit upgrades later on. I want to say 15 in all, and it's going to be for, I want to say, the climbing gear. Honestly, I can't remember what I need them for. I think it's the climbing gear. But either way, they're important, and you kind of need to start collecting them now, so uh, just do be sure it's nighttime when you're doing this part of the Great Plateau. Okay, I don't really care about these guys right now. I'm really just here for the ice bats. 
Okay, there should be one more, just to show you on the map what I'm doing now. Our ice bats were here, here, and now I'm heading here. And I really didn't need to use a fire arrow for that, I just happened to have one equipped on that last round. Alright, moving right along. We got another Korok seed here at this bridge. This one's a little tricky, not gonna lie. It's actually underneath the bridge, and we need one of these metal planks to get it. Okay, so I would stand right about here, and you'll see a little pier sticking up, kind of, sort of. So we need to wedge this thing to where it's resting on top of that wooden thingy. And like I said, it's very tricky. You just really have to kind of play with it until you get it wedged in there right. Come on. I think I just got it. Okay, so assuming you did that right, you'll be able to examine that glistening, swirling pile of leaves that's right under the bridge there. And let's see what else is down here. I think we'll do another uh, warp and fly. So it's pretty much going to be it for the ice bats in the area. on the hit list is another croc. See, this one's going to be behind the shrine. And we're actually going to fly out past the wall and look underneath the wall. And you'll see a type of croc we will have not seen yet. And that's actually over here. And that's what I was looking for. These little uh, blocks that are kind of uh, stacked up on each other there and you'll notice there's two sets and one doesn't quite look like the other so all you got to do is kind of match the patterns and you'll get your Korok seed okay and there we were for that one one more warp Actually, two more warps. That was one. Uh, I'm going to show you guys where there's a secret cave with some treasure and weaponry. Uh, I call it a, a mini armory, if you will. And it's actually behind the waterfall that was up on the Great Plateau, this right here. You have to get to it by walking in from behind it on this ledge. So I'll just go ahead and pin that there for you guys. But that's where we're heading. I actually like to make landfall a little early because there's going to be a lot of um, ice shoes that'll pop up for you. And we're going to need the materials for those as well, so we might as well start collecting now. Uh, just a safety note on these guys, they blow up in a mist. Uh, don't get caught in that mist, otherwise you'll freeze and it'll cost some hearts. So just basically follow the uh, shoreline and you'll eventually end up in a cave that will take you back behind that waterfall. And here we are. Alright, so as promised, Nice little weapons cache here. 
And I'm going to try to separate my stamps as best as I can so that people will be able to make out what they are. Okay, not a bad bow, uh, not very durable. That's my only complaint with uh, the monster bows. Uh, not very durable, but combined with the uh, super suit that we're on our way to go get out at the rainforest, the uh, Ganon Phantom Armor or whatever, uh, that will actually bump that attack power up 80%. So uh, that was a 12, so that'll be about a 20 attack power bow. Not a bad deal. But the trade-off is, once again, it's not going to be very durable. Okay, so this will be the last time we have to warp to the Ice Block Shrine, for the purposes of the Great Plateau anyway. Okay, now we're actually going to head across the way, and we're going to make landfall right about here. Uh, there's some more monster parts there to pick up for free. Uh, a couple of more ice chews as well. Uh, be careful not to fall in the water here. That lake is ice water. I think they call it Dead Man's Lake or something like that. For a reason. Yeah, there's our ice chews. and our monster parts. Let's see how we're doing. I only have one shaft so far, that's not good. Uh, to upgrade the Sheikah Slate, you're gonna need three ancient screws, which I got, you're always gonna have a lot of ancient screws. Three ancient shafts and three ancient cores, which we don't have yet. Uh, those will come later on uh, when we start defeating uh, guardians, and you'll also get some free ones out of shrines, out of treasure chests. And the route I'm going to take you guys on, we'll, we'll get all that, so don't worry. Uh, we're going to have plenty of monster parts to go upgrade our Sheikah Slate with. Okay, so now we're going to make this quick climb up here for a treasure chest, and we're also going to use this as a fly down point uh, to dispatch this next bad boy nest that's up ahead. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to show you guys something before we do that. We're going to come back to this bad boy nest. Show you guys a little trick to that. Uh, we're actually going to jet out from the Great Plateau just a little bit. There's a lake uh, with a ruin structure out on like a little peninsula. And we're going to get the, uh, the Skull Kid mask. And that mask is going to camouflage us with the bad guys, and they're just going to kind of come up to us, take a sniff around, but they won't actually attack us. It's pretty cool. Okay, so... We got these guys to deal with real quick. Low threat, not a big deal.
Okay, so we're going to actually now take a quick flight right down below this little ledge that's overhanging here. Uh, look down below, you'll see another one kind of like it, and another crock seed. And for the map, that's where we're at. All right, folks, let's go get that Skull Kid mask real quick. Uh, take a quick warp over to the uh, Great Plateau Tower. There's actually uh, two more Karak seeds out there as well. And I'm missing one. Where am I missing one from? Got the ones out of the forest. I am missing a Karak seed. That makes me not happy. Okay. Uh, I'm brain farting here, folks. Okay, well, let's just move along here. All right, so uh, look out away from the Great Plateau from our tower here, and you'll see the lake I'm talking about. Way out there, you'll see those ruins I was mentioning. That's where we're heading. So, uh, scope and pins. You can actually see it while you're flying. You don't necessarily need to pin it. Okay, I got 17 seeds. There's two out here. That brings us to 19. The one underneath the uh, mag or the bomb shrine brings us to 20. So I am missing a seed somewhere. When I break video, I'll take a look at my map and try to figure it out. If not, I'm sure it'll come to me. It always does. I do go off memory when I do my walkthroughs. Uh, I'll get you about 95 to 100% of everything, but I am human, so every now and again I'll brain fart and I'll forget something silly. But, uh, we'll get it right. Alright, so there's our Karoxy, our Skull Kid mask, I should, or Majora's mask, that's what it was. I said Skull Kid's mask, jeez. Majora's mask. Alright, so there's one seed. The other one's going to be right out here somewhere. We're looking for a rock that's overhanging the water and a ring of lily pads. Just dive right in. Alright folks, when we come back we're going to meet back up at our... Ice Block Shrine once again. We'll take care of that last bad boy nest. We'll get our last Karoxy, and then I'll try to figure out where I'm missing one from. Alright, so go ahead and equip that bad boy. Oh yeah, it bumps your defense up by one more too, by the way. So that headpiece, I mean it's not a lot, but it's better than having zero up top. So the Majora's Mask will camouflage you with Bobkins, uh, Lizzles, which we haven't come across yet, and uh, Moblins. And also those pesky things that pop out at night. 
So all in all, it's a good thing to just kind of keep equipped for the time being. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I do say so myself. Okay, so now once you actually kill something, then they'll kind of snap out of it and they'll realize you are actually a bad guy, and then they will attack you. Okay, go ahead and upgrade your weaponry while you're at it. Tech refresh. Ooh, that's damaged anyway, that was good timing. And I think I got a shield here that's noteworthy. Sweet. Okay. Got some more ingredients down here. Take the time to get all this stuff, of course. Alright, so that's pretty much it, folks, for the Great Plateau. There's another Karak Seed. I think I mentioned earlier on it is below the uh, Bomb Trial Shrine. Actually, that's the Karak Seed I forgot about. There's a metal door right behind the shrine to pick up, and there's a rock. And then below that, there's another door just like it with another rock. Uh, it's kind of confusing, because you might think, well, that door just fell down. No, it's actually another Karak Seed. And that will bring us to 21, as promised, and that will conclude my walkthrough of the Great Plateau. Hope that helps. Hope you had fun. And uh, when we come back, we are going to head out to the lake, and we are going to get all sorts of good stuff when we head to the rainforest. Uh, we're going to get our five-star speedster horse, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. God, I can't believe I forgot that one earlier. Brain fart! Alright, so just for the map here, we are at the Eastern Abbey. Literally, we're right behind the uh, bomb trial shrine. And if you jump down even more, there's another one just like it. Alright folks, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you found that helpful, please take the time to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys back for our... Uh, Venture out to the lake.